chump, 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 chump. Coward. What? Punk. Chump. What's up, everybody? I'm Dr. Goddess, and I'm coming to you from the historic Hill District of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, home of jazz greats such as Art Blakely and Stanley Tarantine, Mary Lou Williams, and George Benson, singers like Shanice Wilson and the late great Phyllis Hyman, and writers like John Edgar Wideman and August Wilson, not to mention our history makers, the Negro Baseball League teams, the Pittsburgh Crawfords, and the Homestead Grays. Now, I want to know. You know something about me, but I want to find out about you. What is the state of your black world? I'm going to be at the State of the Black World Conference 2, November 19th through the 23rd at the Ernest R. Morial Convention Center in New Orleans, Louisiana. And I want to meet you there. Why? Because it's the first, the great gathering of black Americans in the African diaspora following this historic presidential campaign. I mean, can you believe it? What's the black agenda? What's on your mind? I want to know from you, what is the state of your black world? Sorry, we're standing up here under the historic conference clock. I want to know, what are your issues? What, sh what, sh what should we be concerned about? What's the state of your black world? The state of my, my black world is being successful in life. That's the only thing I'm worried about, being successful. I don't want to be poor. As a youngster, I'm concerned about all of the teen pregnancies. All the girls who are getting pregnant lately is just ridiculous. I can't go to school without seeing somebody pregnant. Last year, we had about nine girls who were pregnant, so it was crazy. And they were only in ninth grade, so you can only imagine. Well, on the local level, there are a lot of uh, black youth that don't have any facilities or any venues where they can accelerate their educational process and unfortunately, a lot of the onus has to be presented on the black adults because we can't go outside to solve a problem that is within. What's the state of your black world? What's on your mind? What's, what are the issues that you, do you think we should be concerned about today? Uh, that's a tough question to answer. I, I really couldn't say right now, but as far as, far as the city of Pittsburgh is concerned, I, I could just say that, you know, we've got a little bit to go before we can actually be considered a diverse city. And I think just the general population in Pittsburgh needs to understand what the definition of diversity is before they actually start any campaigns for it. But I, I do think we're on a on, a, on an upward path. I like I like to see younger folks you know, get get education or get a trade, you know, to do something in life. All right, all right. And and what's the best way you think the Black Agenda can be set in order for them to young people to do this? You, you, you got to teach them when they're young at home. Oh, that starts at home. Y'all right. of these young guys, they, they don't have good parents, no gu no guys, no nothing. All right, but a lot, of, a lot of young, a lot of parents are also younger these days. So where are they going to get the information? How are they going to be empowered? There's somebody that can look up to. All right, all right. Who's your role model? My role model was my mother and father. And I got sisters, I got five sisters and four brothers, and we all, you know, making it, whatever. I think that we should have higher income. Higher income. For... Wherever you work at, everyone should have higher, higher income because I'm broke. Okay, okay. Now, do you work right now? Yes. Okay, so you work hard on your job, right? Yes. And you feel like if you work hard on your job, you should get paid, you know, the equivalent. So you're not afraid of work, right? Right. Because I'm just saying, people, if they saw you coming down the street, they might stereotype type you and be like, oh, you know, all she's concerned about is being legally blonde. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of um, wrongs that should be shouldn't be happening in this day and age that's all such as I mean you look at how people are treated when for instance in one neighborhood the police show up and in another neighborhood it's never the same and that kind of um, bothers me basically my daughter is mixed um, I think there's a lot of issues not only in my own family but in in the world today um, 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 I don't know. Basically, it's just, um, it's hard for a white woman to raise a black child. Not only do I get racism from my own race, but from blacks too. It's everywhere. Um, so, you know, sometimes I need help on to know, you know, I need to know about these issues, like what you're doing right now. I think it's a really good thing, because if I go on a computer and pull this up, now I can know and see what's going on in the world, not only in Pittsburgh, but you said you go everywhere. So, I mean, basically that's it, you know? I mean, that's that's my issue. Oh, okay. Brother, am I going to see you at the State of the Black World Conference in New Oh, Orleans? yes, you will. All right. Oh, yes, you will. I will Thank be there. So I'll see you in New Orleans, right? <laughs> right. Is it possible that we might see you in New Orleans at the convention? Um. 
Yes. <laughs> Quite possibly, yes. Yeah. Excellent. We'll see him in New Orleans. Now, for the both of you, am I going to see you in New Orleans, my sister, or are you going to try to make it? Mm, yeah, sure. <laughs> what about you, Eric? Am I going to see you in New Orleans, or are you going to try to make it down? Yeah. Now, brother, am I going to see you in New Orleans at the State of the Black World Conference? I might. Okay. All right. I appreciate you. We're going to see you in New Orleans, all right? Y'all have a good one. I'm Veronica Shannon, and I'll see you at the State of the Black World Conference. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Ashley Green, and I'll see you at the State of the Black World Conference. I'm Naomi Walker, and I'll see you at the State of the Black World Conference.